don't even know how to start this video. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I, I just don't know where to start from or... <laughs> Maybe I'm so out of practice doing this. It just feels... Wow, it feels weird, borderline uncomfortable and it takes a lot to make me uncomfortable. I'm also maybe just a little bit ashamed. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what I might be telling you today. Maybe I will start from um, this one post that I've seen on Instagram some time ago. I will try to find it again that screenshot because I know I screenshotted it and then somehow I deleted that screenshot from my phone. So that screenshot is not anymore. <laughs> um, so I, I did that and um, it says something around the lines of, you know, you could always leave certain things um, in a certain time or at a certain point um, kind of just take them off pose them for a little bit put them aside uh, put them to rest and life would go on and you would go on to do things into life and to keep up with the demands of a life and those things will always be in that place posed but that doesn't mean that you can go back to them once you have the space both physical and mental to go back to those things and pick them up again maybe even pick them up right where you left them and I felt this so much it just resonated a lot in the sense where there are probably a million things hyperbole <laughs> that I have set aside Posed, abandoned maybe even some I left mid-sentence and they are still resting in that place and to be honest the space available to me either mental or physical is extremely restricted and extremely it's so full it's really crowded in there so to go back and pick up all those things anytime soon would be a little bit challenging. However, there are things I could potentially pick up little by little and I think making those videos and posting them for you guys and just talking to you guys is one of those things that I have put aside for the past six months, so half a year and I feel like maybe, just maybe I might be ready to pick that up again and start from there. With that being said, I don't know if I will pick those up for a very long period of time or if it's just going to be a little quick hello. However, I'm honestly really, really thinking about going back to making videos a little bit more. I of course cannot promise anything about once a week or twice a week or twice a month or once a month even or any sort of program and scheduled um, posting system. That's not something I can do or I can promise because I know I will not necessarily be able to deliver this and I don't want to give fake promises. But I am back now and this is something that brings me so much joy. You have no idea how much joy I get from sitting down, just sitting down, just like that, maybe with a cup of something, a coffee, a tea, whatever, and just, you know, talking to you and just rumbling. I have no script right now and you know this from me, knowing me, I barely ever script any videos. Sometimes I do have the main points I want to discuss in mind, but that's pretty much it. I barely ever script anything and I love that and that's what I miss the most. So when I was preparing this comeback, fancy, uh, no, but when I was really preparing this comeback, um, I thought about this. I was like, I want to do some new formats of these videos. Of course, there will always be the videos about books, some about education and just, you know, answering your questions. But I also want to have this new format when I just sit down and talk to you and share my thoughts and share my 
visions and how I see things and my thought process because sometimes there's a lot going on in here and I want to share it and I feel like I have ideas and thoughts that could trigger conversation, that could trigger some inner conversations even, you know, you talking to yourselves and I think that this is so important and such an important element to growth and instead of just journaling it or once again saying those a thousand times to the people in my immediate vicinity that know me so much and who are probably tired of hearing me talk about those big topics all the time it would be helpful to also share those with you because maybe you're interested and it's you know it's an online space you can come pick up what you need leave what you don't need and just I just want to make that space where I just rumble and so maybe I will start this format which is like a little sh chatty chatty videos on different topics and uh, maybe have different episodes and I think today's <laughs> episode or exchange is on disappearing and coming back again and how that's maybe okay and that's fine and we create this stress items that only exist in our head and we love to nourish those and you know make them grow and at the end of the day it's the source of stress that is self-created and auto-generated and we could easily stop it there and just tell ourselves no there is no stress i don't need another imposed deadline and i don't need a self-imposed deadline i have enough of those that i owe to people and I don't want to just impose on myself those deadlines um, in that sense. Okay, so what have I been doing? I think you are probably also here to hear a little bit about that to a certain degree. Um, I want to talk to you about this and I will, but I feel like I'm repeating myself for the millionth time, but of course I'm not because you have not heard that, right? You did not. <laughs> other people in my life by all means they have <laughs> but you you have not so I think I have to take in my breath and share these things with you okay so maybe some of you know from my previous videos from following me maybe on Instagram if you are not you could I will leave it here I try not to disappear from there as much and I'm definitely showing up there more than I do here but yes, so you might now know <clears throat> that I am now in the process of getting a PhD, doing a PhD, undertaking a PhD, even the verb that I associate with that plan is still fuzzy because the verb entails the actions and the action entails the belief and what you do every day for that. And I'm still not sure exactly about what that entails other than a lot of anxiety and uncertainty and um, questions. I mean, isn't it the whole point of that, right? You do find research questions and you question them. And then you spend a couple of months, years trying to answer those questions. Uh, but no, I mean, negativity aside for a second it's one thing i'm really thankful for having from this uh from this phd is this this ability to ask questions right to ask proper good questions and this is something that not a lot of people can do and i think that training that muscle of asking the right questions and the good questions could benefit individuals and communities a lot but anyways, I'm deviating from the topic, but that's part of this new format. I don't want to have a topic. I just want you to put me in the background of you reading, cleaning, cooking, eating, whatever it is you're doing and just hear me talk and then hopefully trigger some thoughts of your own. Anyway, so yes, the PhD. And with that process of doing a PhD comes a lot of... Um, uncertainty and I, there's no other way I would say it and with this uncertainty a lot of fuzzy planning and so one thing that has been bugging me a lot is that this whole thing entails that you have to be working all the time and by working I don't necessarily mean sitting in your desk and doing actual research work because to be honest I cannot do more than four hours max of actual research brain 
um, work and that's the maximum so reading scientific papers or writing or coming up with a proposal or anything that requires my utmost thought so that is a maximum of four hours a day but fred not admin things reaching out to people collecting things online data online takes a lot of time and that is not part of the work i would call neuron heavy um, but uh, yes what was i saying yes so yeah it requires that you work all the time and exactly by work i don't mean sitting on your desk and doing that heavy lifting work but just thinking questioning planning and worrying and that is something you do 24 7 all the time at every single spot tiny spot of a uh, of your time in a day and uh, yeah that that what it requires that what I feel it requires and so that doesn't leave a lot of time to creative forms of expression to uh, full-hearted uh, forms of expressions when I want to sit down and make videos and create videos and talk about books I need to you know prepare in a sense what I want to say uh, just in my brain you know actually give time to my book and to the creation of that love and passion that you guys see in my videos or through my videos and that you always mention and you know comment on this has to come from a place of grounding of um, mental energy and things that sp sprout from here and when you undertake a type of work that is very uncertain, very stressful and very anxiety inducing by nature because it's uncertain and that's research and that's totally something I knew when I was getting into this so that's not the issue I'm not surprised or I'm not like oh my gosh I wasn't expecting that I kind of was but I mean it feels different when you're actually living through it so yes this this is what happened in that sense um, and there is not much of this space you want to also um, keep your social relationships right there are a lot of people around us that we love and we care about and we want to keep those relationships alive we want to feed into them we want to give them time and space of course I don't want to give up my the closest people in my life because I'm pursuing a degree that's not worth it family comes first close people comes first big life celebrations come first family and friends needing you comes first because at the end of the day that's what really shapes your human experience um, people would argue differently in that sense but I can talk about myself and these opinions are of course my own so um, you want to keep those relationships alive and really fit into them and give them energy and as you might know I live abroad so I live away from my family and to keep those kind of relationships you know you have to be there in tiny different ways and I get a lot of energy from them don't get me wrong I barely give them as much as they give me but I want to show up and I want to be there and of course there are the the, the people with you you want to do things it's it, I'm in my 20s at the end of the day and I want to get to experience stuff because that's what brings me joy and as much as I want to you know get things done you know I want to challenge myself and I want to see how far I can take my intellect and so on and so forth I also want to enjoy living life nothing is worth my mental health nothing is worth any of those things so this takes time you also need to um, yeah so you need to do a lot of work which really takes all the time you need to keep your relationships alive you need to do some things for yourself like yoga meditation journaling in my case reading which also took a hit to be honest and that was like a huge shock for me but I read so much research oriented or like research related things that sometimes it's just like it's very difficult you become much more picky with your time and where do you direct the little resources you have and some of the things I love had to go a bit down into the list including that right and I don't want this to sound negative in any way or form and I don't want to be venting because at the end of the day I do enjoy what I'm doing I'm doing it for a reason there's a lot of beautiful things about research as it is and I 
I am on a path and I want to get there and I'm gonna try God only knows how many times I want to give up on a daily but um, I want to get there I can make a whole video about research and you can ask me your questions and it could also have this little format but uh, it's something very enjoyable, it's something great when it's working, it triggers a lot of conversation, you meet amazing people, you, may, you meet amazing brains and lovely hearts and uh, caring people and I'm so lucky with the, my colleagues and the people I, that I immediately work with. I'm honestly truly truly um, thankful for the guidance I have from uh, the senior researchers I work with. That's something that's truly is making this journey much easier. I don't have to fight those relationships or like fight any people. Or there are smaller issues but the bigger picture is really nice and it's really a good environment that would set you up for success. And as much as I think about giving up all the time, you keep going because I think it's just part of the process and it's very normal. At least that's what you get when you talk to people. But it's just to tell you like so all of this video is just to tell you that it is really okay when life gets a little bit rough whether you are pursuing a goal of yours starting a business um, getting a degree starting a family getting kids uh, launching a big project that you've always dreaming have been dreaming of doing writing a book anything that requires some hard work or journey that's like taking a lot of your resources, mental, physical, all of that, it's okay to put things aside and to pick them up again because they will be there. If you truly love these things, if they truly feed your soul, you can always pick them up and see if they still do. And if they still do, you know, you can start again and it's totally fine. And here I am, the proof or the living, how would you say that? The living proof? The living proof sounds a bit weird, but like the living proof that it's possible and I'm trying it. I'm trying it. I'm not putting a lot of stress into that or a lot of expectations, but I'm trying it. So hopefully you will see this video soon and then I will try to make another video about the books I've been re reading during the six months, the lovely, lovely reads and yes, to share them with you guys and then see how much more I can post and what you want to see and see what we can do with that mix. Um, but for now, I'm back and I'm happy, happy to see you again. To, well, I mean, you see me, I don't really see you, but I picture you, I kind of imagine you. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, let's see. And uh, maybe I should just try to take you in that journey even through the not so nice and not so YouTube-y, uh, why not? But I hope you spent a lovely time with me, just listening to me talk, wonderful, I love that. And I hope to see you soon again. And I'm sending you big virtual hugs, a lot of, lot of love and passion and great, great energy and vibes. Bye-bye guys.